Well, I'm just going to come on the trees of Davis now. Hello, Teresa, how are you? Good. Now, come on, what have we got here? This is nice. Um, this is my painting of a Gia Falcon, um, obviously with the grouse. It's, um, the prison's just come back from hawking and um, sort of put all his equipment down. That's, that's lovely. Do you do, do you do many of the falconry types? Yeah, I do lots of falcons. Yeah, yeah. it's a very popular sport and they, they're beautiful birds, so they always sell very well as a painting. So come on then, is, is this a photograph or is this somebody's bird? Um, it's a friend's bird that um, I went and took photographs of and um, they lent me all their equipment, the glove, the hood, the bells, the, um, the, oh, nice. the bag and everything. And the grouse were from Scotland, a keeper in Scotland let me have a brace of grouse to use as reference. Oh, nice. So, you know, you, to go and take pictures of the bird and then home settle the equipment equipment yeah, up for the wonderful. still life. Do, we, do you have any more that we can see? Um, yes, I have a bird on the glove at the front here. Oh, on, let's lead on, me. let's have a look. And we're just going past one or two uh, trees as pieces. Now, that's rather nice. She's got some pheasant there in, in the snow. Oh, no, 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 this is lovely. This Come one on, here is a peregrine sat on a glove. Um, this was um, the photograph I took at the um, British Falconry Fair. We oh, went there to nice. take reference and um, I just love the way that the bird was sat on the glove and the actual hood was linked through the, the, oh, the bottom yes, finger of the glove. The uh, so I, I really like the photograph so um, I painted it. That's really nice colours as well isn't it? It is, yeah. And when I do the background I always like to take um, colours from the bird so you've got the lovely sort of blue greys yes. um, and the creams and the yellows. That's fascinating. Yeah, really, really nice. And of, of the two, both lovely pieces. Of yeah. the two, that's my favourite. Oh. That's lovely. Uh, working on anything today? Um, yes, I'm working on a wild boar at the moment, if you'd like oh, to come yeah, and have a look. Yeah, let's go and have a look at that. Here he is. Oh, oh right, that's, oh, that's lovely. So come on, where's, where's this photograph from? Um, th this one's a, um, a wild boar taken by a, a photographer friend of mine. Oh yes. And um, I'm, I'm painting it just sort of the head and shoulder study and I'm hoping that once it's complete and on the wall that, that eye will follow you everywhere. It's, I'm I hoping it'll follow you around the room. I was just looking at that, that's really nice isn't it? It's got that sort of wild look that the um, wild boar have. Yeah, that's yeah. I do like that. It's becoming a very popular sport now, and they it, sell it is, very well as paintings. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we were in Rambouillet in France, and uh, the, the French very passionate about their boar. Yeah. And uh, there were one or two bronze pieces over there that I have to say were really mm. wonderful. But no, that's lovely. Well, we look forward to seeing that finish. Thank Will you. you be working on that all weekend? Um, no, probably tomorrow I'll be working on some hounds. Oh, right. um, once this is um, dry, I'll get most of it blocked in today. Once it's dry, then it has to be put away then for a week or two to dry before I can go back and then start to build the detail. Well, yeah. we look forward to meeting you tomorrow. We'll have a look at the hounds. Yes. Now, uh, Teresa, now just to refresh my memory, what's the stand number? Um, um, I can tell you. Oh, come on, let's have a quick look. <laughs> It's 701 to 702. Right, so all of you people out there, come on over to 701 and 702 and just have a look at this fabulous range from Theresa Davis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.